There are some very creative people out there using augmented reality to take record album art to the next level. I want to talk to you a bit about that today, plus show you a very cool example. So sit back, relax, and let's get into this. Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. I recently got this album sent to me. Um, it's called Lifeline by British singer songwriter RJ Thompson. It's a great release, super catchy. I made some notes here. Super catchy and well crafted indie pop. These are my words. Uh, with a real 80s throwback feel. It's Bowie meets Springsteen meets Prince with a titch of modern production. But what's cool about this album, and this was right from the um, hype sticker on it, uh, this album is also marketed as having the world's first augmented reality enhanced interactive and ever evolving album artwork. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye. So let's, uh, let's dive into this and explore it a bit more. But first, love vinyl? Why not tell the world with a Channel 33 RPM t-shirt? All proceeds help this channel continue to grow. Link below this video. I appreciate your support. All right, so augmented reality. For those of you who have no idea what that means, augmented reality, the definition here is uh, an interactive experience where objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer-generated perceptual information. That's a mouthful, but essentially you download an app on your phone, and once you have that app on your phone, you point it at the album or the art or whatever you're looking at with the augmented reality, and again, it just it comes alive. So with this particular release, the cover changes from day to night, depending on the time of day. You can watch an interview with RJ, you can read handwritten lyrics, and tons more. So I'm talking here, I'm just showing you some of the screenshots um, from this particular record. It was, it was incredible. I put the phone on it and all this stuff popped up. This technology is definitely next level stuff, particularly when you are incorporating it into album artwork. I'm gonna pause here and see if I can insert some video of this AR augmented reality experience. Now this may work or may not, but let's give it a shot. Springsteen is is pretty much my favorite songwriter of all time. So he he he, he kind of makes a mark on everything that I do. Um, and newer influences, I would say people like Bleachers, uh, like Jack Antonoff. Um, Beck is all is always an influence. You know, just getting some quirky Beck stuff in there is always fun. Yeah. So I mean, that is the way it looked. And I should actually show you without all that fancy stuff. I mean, it's a tri-fold album and the pressings are, are fantastic i mean this is not typically my go-to genre but i've listened to this like 10 times already vinyl is, is uh, blue well red white and blue but there's the blue one there's the red one and there is the white one now of course this is not the first augmented reality enhanced record that's ever been produced in 2018 the album sos by amsterdam based necessary explosion did some really cool stuff with ar listeners could view augmented reality sculptures on top of the record through an app while the record spins the app also uses audio recognition to match songs with visuals and every song has its own 3d content again that is with the necessary explosion release and there's other examples as well of course ozzy osbourne's see you on the other side box set which came on the past year also had some augmented reality aspects to it in fact that one had 12 ar experiences included music videos animations and live performances as well as a hologram of ozzy now obviously there's an element of gimmick tree involved with some of this but i also think the technology really opens up the door for many creative 
possibilities for artists that didn't exist before. I mean, who knows where this technology could lead? You're essentially creating this whole alternative reality around your record, which again, didn't exist prior to this. And of course, for fans, it adds extra value. And of course, in order for this sort of stuff not to be a gimmick, it still has to be about the music. The music has to be good. So going back to this R.J. Thompson album we were talking about, in that case, the augmented reality that we're seeing here is sort of the icing on the cake. It's really enhancing the experience, but the music is still there and actually should tell you. I mean, there's three There's three albums. The first album is, is the music. Those are the songs. The second album is piano versions of some of the tracks. And the third album is remixes. My favorite were the first two. Some of the remix stuff didn't particularly click with me. I mean, other than that, one more thought, and this came up as well when I shared this information on the Facebook group. I made a post saying, what do you guys think of the concept of augmented reality on vinyl and good, bad, gimmick, cool. And most of you thought it was a really good idea, but the whole issue of, of price was raised. Because I know we've talked in past videos about the rising cost of vinyl. So there was a sense of, you know, if artists do this, is this just going to jack up the price of their records? Or are they going to do, you know, a few versions, the basic black vinyl with no augmented reality, you know, for 20, 25 bucks, the deluxe version, and then the augmented reality version for who knows how much. Luckily, this RJ Thompson one was reasonably priced. A lifeline was going for 28 pounds, which is equal to $36 US or 48 Canadian. I mean, not cheap, but you are getting a lot of stuff for there. We're talking about getting the bang for the buck. So I think this is sort of the beginning of what is going to be a larger trend. We're going to see a lot more of this, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It gives us fans more options and more opportunities to kind of explore and go deeper into the album. I mean, you can have interviews about tracks. You can have, you can do deep dive you can do deep dives in some songs with the artist explaining the recording process or the meaning behind certain lyrics or whatnot. You can have um, all sorts of stuff. I mean, the sky in this case is literally the limit. But again, um, as long as I like that idea, but as long as us fans can still buy the cheaper versions of it and we have those options, I don't know, maybe it's not a bad thing. But that is me. It's over to you, dear 33ers. What do you think? of augmented reality being incorporated into record packaging. Good idea, bad idea, I would love to know. Let us know in the comments below. All right, 33ers, that is today's video delving into this whole new crazy world that I never knew would have existed years ago. If you dug today's episode, I'd appreciate a quick thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what the heck you're waiting for. And if you haven't checked out RJ Thompson, there's a link to his socials and his website below this video. Dear 33ers, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.